I'm taking you on a journey with me today. You're coming out on the bike with me because I have an idea. And the idea I have is about hills. And you know, you know I'm a sucker for a metaphor. So we're gonna do literal hills on the bike. <sighs> Why do I do this to myself? But I wanna talk about hills as a metaphor. I have an idea, you see. know anything about the area in which I live, the North Downs, then you'll know this is not going to be a pleasant ride. Oh, I've got to get rid of this. So this is where it all began for me. This unassuming little hill years and years ago was the end of my route. I used to go out for 30 minutes. I used to go out and cycle for 30 minutes, hard as I could, and then I would come home. That was my starting route and that represented to me Quite a horrible hill at the end. I used to dread it getting back here. It used to feel so hard, but now it almost feels like a flat piece of road. I mean, it's not flat, but you get what I'm saying. But after a time, I felt like I had to broaden my horizons. So I came to find other hills, like this one, which is still manageable. It was longer, a bit steeper, challenged me that little bit more. Doing this a load of times, you kind of think, what's further up the road? Or what's up the higher hill? What are the better views? Literally could not have come out on a nicer day. Look at this. Absolute paradise. I'm glad to have you with me. This isn't a hill, it's just a little lump, but I do really like what it says on the wall up here. Look. But after a while I needed even more challenge really. That hill just seemed to get a little easier each time. So then I went further afield and I found bigger hills. And I'm about to take you up one now. <laughs> Oh man, cycling one handed up a steep hill. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Christ. Christ. It's starting to hurt now. But then that hill got, not easier, I'd never say it's easier, but I started to go up it faster. Um, it felt less of a challenge. And the problem with me is, this is my issue, is that I, nothing is, I'm never good enough. I always feel like I'm never good enough for something. So once I get half decent at a hill, I have to go and find a bigger one because I just think, well, that's like baby wet wipes in comparison to the next thing up and the next thing up. That's my problem. So you can go two ways if you never feel like you're good enough. You can either shut off from everything because you're not good enough for it and stop trying things, tuck yourself away, or you can keep pushing on to the next level, trying harder things because it drives you to be that little bit better each time. I think it just means that your ego's in check. I hope it means that. I don't know. I hope my ego's in check. I think it is. Blackstall leads on to Shibbon. Dirty, sharp hill. But I tell you what, the views from the top are nice. <laughs> but there is always one spectre that looms in the back of my mind, and that is a hill from earlier in the summer, up near where Mary's parents come from. Um, 
It's the only time I've ever had to get off the bike. It's my nemesis. I took some footage at the start of the summer there. Scooby-Doo transition. This is Mount Cop. It is the only hill that I've ever had to get off my bike. Can you see how steep this is? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing how hard this road is up? In some places it's 25%. Only place I've ever had to get on my, off my bike. Oh, I'll speak to you at the top. That hill at parts is 25% in gradient. And I don't know if you've ever cycled up 25% in gradient, but it essentially means that you struggle to keep your front wheel on the road. It's that bad. Now, every time I come back to my wife's family's home in Cheshire, I try and make a point of getting to Mount Cop and cycling up it. Having just done it, I don't really know why, because once is enough. It's an awful hill. They call it the Killer Mile. They have a running race up there. And when you conquer a hill like that, you conquer it for this. Those views are unbelievable. So mountains become hills, become slight inclines, become nothing but little barriers that can't stop you. I can't tell you how hungry I am now. I'm out of the shower, we're walking Winnie. Mary's got tons of colour on, I'm very grey, but she's always the colourful one anyway. The that's point... what you've got to do when the sky is grey. Yeah, that's very true. So I've just been out on a bike ride, taking you through all the hills that I climb and, you know, those that used to challenge me that now become a little bit easier. And I think the message is that we've all got to do stuff that is hard because eventually it becomes easy. Does that make sense? That's it. Is that it? Yeah, and then you move up one level. That's the way I'm looking at this. Do stuff that's hard until it becomes easy. That's, that's the point of the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>